If we get a thousand likes on this video within the first two days that it's uploaded, I will give a silver half dollar and a silver mercury dime to someone in the comments. So make sure you guys thumbs up and leave a comment below. Also, I'll be announcing the winner of the 2019 W quarter in this video, so stay tuned for that. Hey guys, welcome back to Cox Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. We're going to be looking at some modern pennies that are worth money, some 1997 pennies and 1996 and 2009. So let's just hop right into it and start off first with an error coin. Now this error penny here is pretty cool because it has been struck on a foreign planchet. Now you can see that the design is kind of cut off. You can see that the word trust is being cut off there. And then the edge is getting really close to the date. Now this coin only weighs 1.9 grams. So a good thing to do is always weigh your coins. I have coin scales available on couchcollectibles.com. Link is always in the description of every video. So this penny here sold for over $230. Now keep in mind, it does have a high grade as well. If this coin was really circulated and worn, it's not gonna sell for that price. Also something else to look for on the 1997 Lincoln cent. Now this penny here, you wanna look for a doubled ear. So look for that there on Lincoln's ear. Now you can also look for this on the 1984. So always be on the lookout for that. I've done videos on the doubled ear and what to look for. So definitely always check out my other videos on the channel. Now this one here, we're gonna start off with a lower priced coin. You can see that it's sold on eBay and that it's not in the best condition. It's definitely circulated. You can see it's not in the best shape. And this coin only sold for over $17. It's not graded by a coin grading company, but if we move on to one that is graded by a coin grading company, PCGS, this coin here sold for over $190. And again, because this coin is graded at a Mint State 65 red. So it's got that uh, Mint State grade and it's got that doubled ear. Now if we look at it, one that sold for over $240, this is the same type of coin, same doubled ear, and it's graded at a Mint State 66 red. Again, if you are not familiar with coin grading, I have whole videos on that. Just type in coin grading couch collectibles here on YouTube and watch those videos. Now, like I said, $240 for that coin. Now, if we look at another coin that's sold on eBay, again, this coin has been graded by NGC, and it is a 1997 double denomination, so we have a penny being struck on a Roosevelt dime, and we can clearly see that there in the images displayed. So very noticeable, you see the outline of Roosevelt's head there and the design of the Roosevelt dime here on the reverse of this coin, along with the design of the Lincoln penny. So this coin here sold for over $100 on eBay. Now for the proof coin, this is the 1997 S Mint Mark, San Francisco minted Lincoln cent. This coin is graded at a perfect grade, a proof 70 red deep cameo. So it's got a 70 grade, the coin grading scale only goes up to 70, so it's perfect. And this coin sold for a little over $70. Now same with the high graded 1997 no mint mark. This is the business strike, not the proof coin. This coin has got a high grade and that's why the coin sold for over $1,900. A mint state 68 red. 1997 penny like i always say if your coin has been circulated and things like that it's probably you know not going to grade at a men's state 68 or a men's state 70. now for the 1997 d mint mark for the high graded version this coin sold for over 800 dollars, and that's because it's graded at a mint state 68 red so always be on the lookout for those. Check out these 2006 Lincoln pennies that you should always be on the lookout for. And the winner of the 2019 W quarter is Steven Shoot. I'm enjoying your channel and learning from each episode. Thank you so much, Steven. Make sure you send me an email with your shipping information so I can get your coin out to you. All right, so here's the 2006 pennies. You guys can find these in your pocket change all the time. They made billions of them. So how in the world could these things actually be valuable? Well, here is an up close image of what is called a double die obverse. That means that there's doubling taking place on the obverse of the coin, meaning the front of the coin. So doubling on the front of the coin. So you can see that on the phrase in God we trust as well as the word liberty. And you can also see doubling on the date 2006 
itself. So doubling on the words there and on the date. Now here is a penny that actually has that double die obverse. Now what's gonna make this penny valuable is two things. It's got the double die obverse, doubling taking place on the front of it, and it's got a high grade. It's graded at a mint state 65. The coin grading scale only goes up to 70. So it's a high graded coin, which is gonna give it value as well. Now this 2006 penny here sold for over 200 and twenty dollars now if we just look at a very extremely high graded 2006 penny this is graded at a mint state 68 and this is valuable just because of its high grade it doesn't have that double die obverse error it's just got the high grade and no errors on this penny so this penny here sold for over $1,800. So if we take a look at these pennies underneath the scope here, we can check them and see if we can find any doubling. Now, I only got three pennies here, so we'll go through these pretty quick. But uh, these were the only 2006 that I could find. I actually ordered a box of pennies and went through the whole box and separated them each date. So here's another 2006. Not seeing any double in there. Liberty and the date. So how in the world can the 2009 penny be valuable? You know, well here is all the mintages of it. If you guys want to screenshot this, they made over 284 million of the 2009 P Lincoln cent birthplace. And then that goes down the list for the different reverses of the Lincoln cent from 2009 as well as the different mint marks. Now a lot of people do keep these because they only minted you know 100 million to 350 million uh, piece of these coins in comparison to billions of pennies from other years. So some people do keep them but uh, I only keep ones that are pretty much in really good condition and of course I like to search for errors so this is what we're going to be doing today. Here are some examples of errors taking place on the 2009 Lincoln cent. Now, it's going to take place with Lincoln sitting down there on the log on the back of the penny. So here's all the examples. We're going to scroll through. If you guys want to pause it to see the example for a longer period of time, feel free to do so or screenshot it. Now, it's going to take place right by Lincoln's thumb and on the outside of his hand as well. So you will look for that doubling underneath the microscope, and that's what we're about to do here in just one second so you see there's all kinds of different types of doubling this one here is the finger on the other side not by the thumb so you also have to look for that area there as well all right so here we are first penny up searching for the 2009 double die reverse and we don't have too many of these but we do have a stack little stack here of Lincoln pennies don't see any doubling like I said we're looking for doubling on those fingers there and the thumb Hopefully we can find one. That would be amazing if we actually found one on video. And uh, don't forget guys, if you guys want to see your coins up close like this and you want a USB coin microscope, all you guys got to do is go to couchcollectibles.com. I do have them available for sale. Now if you guys purchase a USB coin microscope, one, you get the microscope and two, you are entered for the monthly giveaway. And if you purchase two or more items, you get two entries. And if you purchase two or more items, you also get $5 off all September. So if you got, so September is coming to an end. We got, use the code five off at checkout if you guys do purchase two or more items. And uh, yeah, man, these things are really simple. I do have a whole video on the USB coin microscope. So if you haven't seen that, just type in USB coin microscope on YouTube and you should see my video on there. You should be able to find it. it should be at their top somewhere. Or just go through my channel. You can find it on my channel as well. And uh, be sure to go check out my collectible videos that I've been posting. I got a lot more to post here in the next couple of weeks. Coins and collectible videos. But uh, some of the collectible videos are pretty cool. They, uh, they're one of my favorites to film. So I love filming those collectible videos. All right, we got two more pennies to go after this. All right, no doubling there. And one more, here we go. No double die, unfortunately. All right guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where 
uh, disappears.